What is up guys, Julius here and today I am going to show you how to 3D motion track particles in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I've prepared a little clip of a girl walking in the woods. This very mystical type of look. So the first thing you want to do to get the effect started is go over here to Tracker, select your clip and hit Track Camera and let it analyze the background and once it is done analyzing you want to wait for it to solve the camera but it shouldn't take too long okay we're done and as you can see our 3d camera tracker has a lot of points that it can track on and they follow the video so basically what you want to do is hold down your left mouse button and select a bunch of these like so then right click and hit create null and camera. All right, so now that that's settled, the next thing you want to do is go down here and hit new, solid, okay, like so. And then you want to go into your effects and presets and you want to search for an effect called CC particle world and drag that on top of your dark gray solid like so and you will create these particles and right now they don't look very good but they are actually already motion tracked as you can see to the clip but we want to play around with the settings in here so the first thing we maybe want to do in here is play around with the nothing in here i think but I think we maybe want to change up the birth rate and the longevity instead. So right now the birth rate I think it's fine, but maybe the longevity, like the duration that the product does exist, we want to change that to maybe six. And then go into the producer, like so, and we want to make it bigger so it fills the entire screen. So let's maybe change this to two two for the y-axis and five for the c-axis like so and we still have it but it's filling up more of the screen now but it's still not the correct effect so next you want to go into physics and here we want to change the velocity to zero like so and this should just be generated midair now but they're falling down because of the gravity so if we change that to zero they should be just still in there so and this already looks super cool right but this is not the exact look that we want to go for but this this looks pretty cool also as well so what i'm gonna do here is actually change the gravity to negative 0 0.01 and what that does is it's gonna make them float take a look they're kind of floating upwards that's pretty nice Next, we're gonna go into particle, and in here, we want to change the particle to faded sphere or faded sphere. The birth size and death size, I guess that is fine. I think the max opacity, just make it like 50, make it really subtle. Then maybe let's do something that stands out here, like blue for the birth color and the death color like darker blue something like that let's take a look at the effect let's see if you want to change anything no this is super cool but as you can see in the start of the clip there are no particles and that is because this is at the point of time where they start spawning so right here we have the look we want so what we do is just drag our dark gray solid a little bit to the left so at the start of the clip they already start to spawn let's take a look so they're already spawning here wow what an effect it's so nice <sighs> do we like the blue i think i'm gonna change it to yellow something which maybe Blends in a little bit more with the color scheme, something like that. Yeah, this looks so sick. 
the last thing I'm going to do, just to blend it together a little bit, is I'm going to add a Lumetri color preset. So down here, I'm going to click New, Adjust my layer, like so. And over here in my effects and presets, I'm going to go into Color Correction, Lumetri Color, and apply that. And I think we're just going to use a preset. I think something like the... Little big LDR would look nice here. Yeah, that looks it makes it look super cool. But let's take a look at the effect. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Please let me know in the comments which type of tutorial you would like to see next and if you want to go that extra mile maybe consider subscribing and hitting the like button but anyways see you tomorrow guys